Stonehelm Guard officers. They defected to Montclair's side and helped him take over the upper city. Look for Orlazog Gryarzal and Jubert Gain. Perhaps you can deal with these traitors and discover Montclair's motivations. Baron Doral can tell you more. Ambitious? I suppose he was no more or less so than any house noble. My father never liked the man, though. But to change so drastically? To put innocent people in harm's way? I pray for the wisdom to understand our foe. I suppose he hopes we will surrender and agree to his terms. But that's not going to happen. Neither House Tamrith nor House Dorel will give in to such outrageous demands. And I know the High King won't allow such treachery to go unpunished. The Baron sees me as a child, and I find him to be a pompous ass. Light grant me patience. I know that he wants to appear strong, in control, but we need to peer into the shadows and determine what has led to Montclair's bold actions. House Gravenwatch is an old Rivenspire family. As for Verandis, I do not like the man. Be that as it may, and despite his long friendship with Montclair, the Count seems genuine in his willingness to help. He cares deeply about our people. Poor Princess Lakana. Thank you for trying to save her. Hey, you there! A little help here. Damn Montclair bastards caught me snooping around. If you unlock this cage, I'll be your best friend for life. I needed some quiet time. What do you think I'm doing in here? I went and got myself captured. I'm one of the Shornhelm Guard. Look, let me out of this cell, and I can help you. I appreciate the help. You're all right in my book. Now I need to report back to Baron Dorel. I signed on with the Shornhelm Guard because Baron Dorel is a man of action. He's someone who gets things done.
Expect the worst, and you can only be pleasantly surprised. Dwellers of darkest oblivion, come forth! The veil is pierced. Pass through the gate, I entreat you. My temper is short and my blade is long. What news do you bring from the upper city? Have the traitors been dealt with? Damn. Montclair's Argonian is as crazy as an outhouse skeever. His soldiers kidnapped a few nobles, grabbed them in broad daylight. Probably hopes to use them as insurance against us. But you must realize that I never negotiate with terrorists. Then we have to act fast. Go to the Muse and free Lady Aureen Tamrith, Nithin Albergama, and Sir Estian Gilan. If you can take out Rizal Jewel along the way, all the better. In the meantime, we'll mobilize the Shornhelm Guard and retake the upper city. Rizal Jewel sees no room. Such brazen acts must not be tolerated, Baron. Indeed. It's time to act, Countess. No more talk. No more debate. How can we walk in the light if we leave innocent townsfolk to languish? Wait, are you agreeing with me? Don't look so shocked, Asselde. It was bound to happen eventually. Our friend will go to the Muse to free the hostages and stop the reinforcements while we assault the upper city. A two-pronged approach. Well, all right then. Baron, if you would, give the command and rally the Shornhelm Guard. It will be my pleasure. It's time to show those Montclair cowards what it means to betray the people of Rivenspire. One moment, friend. I may know something about the Fevered Muse. The Fevered Muse? I haven't thought about that place since I was a child. It's a ravine beyond the Upper City. It's been sealed off for years. They used to send the ill and infirm there. Those afflicted with the plague, Khajiit fever, Argonian leprosy, things like that. But that was a long time ago. It's a dank old place. Oh, I remember now. The sewers! You can sneak through the old sewer tunnel. It leads to right near the entrance of the fevered muse. The ravine is riddled with small caves, as I recall. There's an even older section, an ancient ruin. If this Argonian is using a portal to bring reinforcements into the city, I suspect those ruins would make a proper staging ground.